All right, so before we get into today's video, make sure to like the video, make sure to subscribe to the channel, make sure to hit that bell and turn on post notifications so you're notified every time we drop and you know you won't be notified every time we drop, right? All right, so today's video, we're gonna react to one of London Ways' newest videos. And yes, your boy is on the game again playing 2K. Oh, they, 2K be, this game, they be homing on this motherfucking game. Like, but anyways, um, shit. Since they want us to believe their content's real, we are going to react to their content like it's real. I'm not going to lie, y'all. She look good. I got to say something. Her, she look like she classy for real. Hey, how you doing? You gorgeous. Oh, thank you. What's your name? I'm London. Hi. Ursula. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. How's your day going? Uh, so far so good. That's good to hear. That's good How's to hear. Yours? It's going amazing. Better than I that I've seen you. Oh, thank you. No Very problem. Sweet. You from Houston? Uh, not from here. I've been here the last 10 years though. Oh yeah? Okay, smooth. Yeah, Where you from originally? Yeah. Uh, Miami. Miami? Yeah. I love Miami. I'm yeah. not gonna lie, like, I'm thinking about actually getting a crib out there. Oh really? Yeah. So, so I've been you in... like to visit there often? I do. I, I, I do yeah. business out there too, so oh, it kind of makes sense for me. Yeah, I have a lot of family over there, so I like to go like a couple times in the year and visit them. Okay, smooth, mm -hmm. smooth. So how's your day going? Uh, so far so good. I had the day off, so I okay. can't really complain about that. Nice. I didn't mean to just walk up on you like that. You know, I just no, seen something okay. I like. Usually when like random guys approach me, it's very... A different way? Like you don't know what their intentions are. Right, like, right, right. If they want money, if they want your number. For sure. Like they're just trying to holler at you. So. Most definitely. As a woman, like walking by herself, sometimes it can be a little scary, right? You know, but well, I, I hope. feel like you're very genuine and What's you're being very kind. So. I hope I didn't come up to you too like too thirsty or anything like that. No, you know what I mean? It's okay. It's just when guys approach me, sometimes it can be a little bit like, ooh, like. Most what definitely. Do you want? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, shit, uh, you seem like a vibe. Maybe we should get to know each other. Yeah, yeah. Okay, um, sure. I can give you my Instagram. I don't really do social media like that. You don't? Nah. I would give you my number, but usually I like to get to know people a little bit more before I give them like my personal information. I mean, I respect that. I'm not gonna lie to you. I actually, <laughs> res I actually respect that though. Thank you. Thank Where you. were you headed to, if you don't mind me asking? Um, so my friend actually lives like right across the street, one of the high-rise apartments. Okay. So her and I were just supposed to have like a girls' night. Nice. You know, do a little shopping. Okay. So, yeah. You know, you don't gotta walk. Maybe I can give you a ride if you feel comfortable. Yeah, yeah, of course. Uh, I mean, I'm a girl walking alone in the street, so <laughs> I definitely would feel a little bit more comfortable if we did that. Well, if you if you're willing to get in my car, why won't you just give me your number then? That's well, kind of backwards, why right? Why don't we talk a little bit and see what the vibe is? Uh -huh. And then if we're both feeling each other at the end of the conversation, then mm -hmm. I'd be more than happy to give you my number. Okay, smooth. Is that okay with yeah, you? Yeah, that's okay. cool. Well, my car right here. Oh, wow. You okay. have a very nice car. Appreciate you. All right, so that just goes to show you that it's um, in the previous videos how it's like, you know, most girls be like, well, I don't feel comfortable. And plus my face, I, I got a little skin exfoliation, so I may, may have got all that stuff on my face. But anyway, but that just goes to show you. Shorty playing it right. Basically, like, I'm not comfortable getting my number out with people, which is okay because you don't want everybody to have direct access, access to you. Because, you know, motherfuckers fuck with... Uh, Motherfuckers fuck with, you know, you, you may fuck around and get the, the wrong weird motherfucker your number. You know what I'm saying? Y'all know how that shit go. Uh, you think a motherfucker cool, you think a motherfucker all this, and the next thing you know, they, they blowing the phone up, they showing up to where you show up at, they doing all type of unnecessary stuff that you didn't originally think they was actually going to do. You know what I'm saying? So, but once again, she didn't, she didn't, um, Ask her for no money. She didn't say anything remotely close to take me shopping, none of that. She, she, she says she's going to her homegirl's house to um, and they're going to go shopping and stuff like that. So that raises the question, y'all. Is she a gold digger or is she not a gold digger? But according to the content and according to what they view people as being a gold digger, she's not one because why? She gave you the time of day. She let you spit your rap. Yes, she did say, okay. She did say, I'm not giving you my number, stuff like that. But at the end of the day, she didn't ask you for nothing. So let's see how this turned out or let's see how he flipped everything once she entered the detective's room and sit at the detective's table because you know how this nigga get down. No, nah, that's my car. Oh, it's very nice. <laughs> Why you ask me if it was a rental? I don't know. You never know. <laughs> I 
I ain't gonna lie, y'all. She seemed cool, but uh, I don't know. She asked me if it's a runner, why it matter? So. It's very, like, cozy in here. Is it? Yeah. Yeah, I, I mean, like it. I think it. that's a good thing, right? Yeah. And nice and warm. It's so cold outside. You cold? <laughs> yes, I'm cold. I'm, cold. I'm hot for real. Really? Real. I mean, you have, like, a big jacket and sweats on so it makes sense <laughs> i get it i get it i get it but uh so tell me about you a little more you don't mind me um asking? yeah of course uh so i've been in houston for the last 10 years now okay um i moved here from dallas with my family but like i said i'm originally from miami okay so yeah i've just been here and you know just working i was in school for a little bit so okay. right now i'm just like on grind time right now nice. so yeah so what type of work you do um so i do a lot of like freelance modeling i'm also a makeup artist i also am like a manager in the service industry as well too okay. so i dabble a little bit with everything i usually get bored if i just stick to one thing at a time right yeah okay so you got a lot going on for yourself yeah yeah i, like that I, I try i try i like, I like to stay busy I there was just, she could still play, it was just loud. And it's fucking up, messing, messing stuff up. But no, um, so with that being said, Shorty got a whole bunch of shit going on. So, of course you're gonna wanna deal with somebody who got something going on. She don't wanna deal with a nigga who ain't got nothing going on. Imagine having a bunch of shit going on, you deal with somebody who ain't got nothing going on. Hold on. That's what this game be cheap. But anyways, yeah, so so far, so far she's already said she got her own business, she does all this on the side, she did she does this, she does that. You know what I'm saying? She's just in grind mode. So I don't think Shorty a gold digger, man. I'm I'm, I'm honestly interested to see how he's gonna try to flip this and make it seem like and make it seem like she, as if she is one, you know what I'm saying? Cause I, I doubt. I doubt that she is one. Love a woman that's on her shit, you know? Yeah. It's like, it's real attractive. Yeah. For sure. You single? Um, I am single, yes. Okay, okay. How long you been single? I've been single for, since the beginning of this year. Okay. You looking for anything? Um, I feel like when I purposely try to go look for something, the mm -hmm. further it goes away from me. <laughs> <laughs> so you'd rather just be natural about Yeah, it. like the more I chase something, I don't attract it. Yeah. So I'm just like, I don't chase, I attract. Like I if I meet someone and we click off and we have like good genuine vibes, right. you know, then I feel like I'm more understanding to like, okay, let's get to know each other. Okay. But I feel like when I'm really looking for a man, like there's no man to be found. <laughs> <laughs> It's like, you ever heard the saying, like, let it come to you? Yeah, you know? exactly. Mm -hmm. So I'm single as well. To you. Um, originally from Nigeria. Oh, wow. Moved from Nigeria to New York, then I moved to Houston. Nice. Um, uh, so how long have you been in Houston then? I've been in Houston for like three years now. Now, y'all might think that her method, as far as um, letting people come to her, y'all might think that's a good method, but at the end of the day, that's how most women are. Most women are not going to go out there and try to look for what they want they're gonna let people come to them and here's another, here's another thing when they do that ooh, i'm actually like a big dog but when they do that when they let people come to them and people are what they think they are at the beginning later on down the line this is why it's a bad thing later on down the line they finally figure out six seven months maybe even a year or two years down the line they figure out that this dude is not for them then they they get their little heart broke and then that's whatever they go into that little Ram, I'm thinking that all men are the same, that type shit. But you know, I say it's a good method, but once again, it's a double edged sword, also. This is 2020. Okay, yeah. so how do you like it so far? I love Houston. Yeah, like I love Houston. Do you see yourself living here for yes. the rest of your life? I'm parked right here for a while. I might get a crib in Miami though, like I was saying. Oh, yeah, that's true. Mm -hmm. like, I got business out there, I'm into real estate. Oh, nice. So, so, mm -hmm. How long have you been doing that for? Uh, I've been doing that for about two years. Nice. I'm into crypto. And mm -hmm. I got a couple other little side entrepreneur things I'll do as well. Oh, you do crypto? Mm -hmm. See, I've been wanting to get into that, but like every time I watch videos about it and shit, I just feel so confused. Yeah, I mean, like I need somebody to give me the rundown with it because it is something that I want to invest in. I'm right. just not sure like how to go about it. But you got somebody in front of you that's that I'm willing to teach. You. Well, then you can help me then. Definitely can help you out for sure. I got yeah, you. no, I appreciate that. No problem. Um, so like, what you like to do? I love to travel. Um, I love to go shopping. Uh, okay. 
I'm very big on like self care. So I literally treat myself like a queen. So I mean, as you should. Though. Yeah, like I like to go out to nice restaurants. I love to spoil myself, treat right. myself. I like to work out, be active. Uh, I love being out like in nature and like grounding. So I like to do a little bit of everything. Okay. You know? Smooth, smooth. Yeah, yeah. Nice. All right. So let me ask you this question: Like, what's like, what's like your dream first date, or like what's what's the ideal first date for you? Well, I feel like those are two completely different questions because I feel okay. like an ideal date for me would be like we go to a nice restaurant, you get me flowers, you get me like a nice little gift, like we go somewhere cute, romantic. A dream date would be like we go to Miami together, you right. know, and like have fun and go out, go out of the state, party, have fun. All right. So according to the content, this is getting my nerves. Had to get on my, it was had to get on my, I can't get it out. So according to the content, according to what she's saying, she seems like a very traditional individual. The one that likes to go on the nice little dates. The one that likes the corny cheese ball shit as far as you bring her flowers and you open her door and you, and when it's, when it's raining, you may hold her hand or not when it's raining, but when she needs to step off of a curb, you may hold her hand so she can step off of a curb. Now that shit right there, them is actually the type of particular white women you actually really want to go for because you don't want to go for the ones that are hipper than you to know about the latest J's and you don't want to go for those, bro. You know what I'm saying? Because you're going to be whole headache, worth the problems, and all that shit. Really, all you got to worry about with these particular type of women, you got to worry about the their emotional side. You got to worry about explaining a lot of things to them, being there for them, holding them, clutching them, that all, that, that, that type shit. So, but um, once again, you know, she said well, she likes to treat herself to nice dinner. She pampers herself. She does the whole nine. So in turn, what that translated in my mind is that if she's doing that for herself, she will expect a man to do that for her also. You see what I'm saying? Like, there's no point in me being able to do all of this stuff to make myself feel on the up and up and get a dude who doesn't make me feel on the up and up. So, you know, it works hand in hand. You know, but not everybody can always, you know, provide that. So you gotta be a little careful. What you mean by that? You gotta be a little careful who you ask. <laughs> so like, you expect those things, like your ideal date? I mean, like your first day, you saying like a gift and everything. What you meant by that? Like a gift? Like, honestly, a gift could be like a nice like jewelry. It could be like a watch. It could be a like watch. clothes. Uh, shoes uh, i mean don't you think that's a little that's a lot for like a first date though i like to look at it as an investment i mean what a, what a, well, okay so i'm gonna ask me what am i investing into if that was me you're investing into me you're investing in being with me you're investing in getting to know me and for me that would show me like oh wow like this man actually wants to invest in me and he's not just like all talk all right so what am i getting back on my investment like, why do you feel like a man should bring you a watch? Like, what type of watch you talking about? Like, like a little, just like a, any type of watch? Like, a, just a little gift? Or are you talking about, like, Rolex? Like that? Yeah, I want a Rolex. A Rolex. I mean, you don't even have a <laughs> Rolex on, right? What's funny about that, though? I'm just playing with you. Imagine you getting me a Rolex. How crazy would that be? I mean, <laughs> it's, not, it's not something that I'm going to do. That's okay. Yeah. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. It's it's the thought that counts. It's like girls just like to have nice things and girls can like already buy themselves nice things. So when they're dating a guy, they just want to know that like that man can give them what they already provide for for themselves. Yeah, but you don't even have a Rolex on. No, I don't have a Rolex. Okay. See, here he goes. Now, now he's trying to flip this and concentrate on something that she obviously just now said. Five seconds ago that she was joking about. She said, yeah, I mean, Rolex would be nice, but no, nobody's expect you to buy a fucking Rolex the first time you meet him, bro. Like, but now he's trying to hound in on that, right? To try to hound in in order to flip his narrative, to show that, okay, well, you want a guy to buy you this, and but you ain't even got this, you ain't even got that. Basically, what it all comes down to, bro, she don't want no scrub, she don't want no bum. She want a nigga who can take care of his own shit. She want a nigga that can add to her shit while... Because she said the investment part because she felt like, okay, if this nigga's going to do this, then okay, well, it's worth my time. It's worth me investing my time into this. Which the person's actually smart because you don't want to invest your time into something that it ain't nothing. 
Cause you ain't getting nothing up out of it. They ain't getting nothing up out of it. So what's the point? Y'all just, just y'all just sitting around just what? What's the point of it? So and he's trying to twist and turn. He ain't understanding. You know what I'm saying? He's just trying to push this narrative that's not there. The narrative's not there with this one, man. There's nothing wrong with not having a relax. No, it's nothing wrong with that. So why would yeah. you why would you want something that you can't even afford for yourself? Oh no, I was just joking. Oh, you was joking. I was just joking. Okay, okay, smooth. <laughs> so, like, are you adventurous? I'm so adventurous. Yeah. I love to travel. I love to explore new cultures, new food, and you know, maybe if we keep getting to know each other, we could go travel somewhere. I mean, yeah, you know, we don't let that happen naturally, though. Yeah, yeah, we'll let it happen naturally, but you know, I'm just like planting the seed in your head. I mean, why are you planting it on the first day we meet, in though? It's a little crazy if you ask me, right? Well, I mean, you approached me. You said hi to me. We started talking. We're I mean, just seeing where the conversation's going, right? For sure, but there's I think no, we should, There's no harm in just I just feel like we should, just be, seed, we should right? just be getting to know each other. We shouldn't be talking about no vacations and stuff like that. See, now he's trying to blow shit out of proportion, which that is not to be blown out of proportion. All she's saying is, will we get to know each other a little bit more? Maybe we can travel together. Maybe we can do this. Maybe we can do that. After we get to know each other a little bit more. She's not saying, okay... As soon as, soon as this we, as soon as we get finished talking right here, we need to travel. We need. She's not saying that. He's trying to take something and make it what it's not. You know what I'm saying? I know, I know plenty of people. Y'all, I know plenty of y'all deal with people like that who try to take something and they try to make it out to be something that, like, bro, ain't no, it's not even that deep. Like the way he's, the way he's trying to, expo the way he's trying to exploit it, bro. It's not even that deep. It's not that serious. She just saying stuff. Yeah. I mean, if you want to look at it that way. Yeah, I mean, that's how I'm looking at it. I think we could get to know each other. I mean, we can Even do better on a vacation. Yeah, but <laughs> I don't I don't know you to be spending that money on you, though. You know what I'm saying? Like, why would yeah. I take a stranger on vacation? What? Yeah, I get that. But I think, like, for me, like, I just see it a little bit differently. Oh, yeah. And what, 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 what way is that? I don't know. Like, I've been flown out so many times by, like, people that I'm not like close with or anything or like I'll meet through like association like with friends and right. you know they got it like that and like they just have no problem like flying me out like oh I want to meet your friend oh, I was in a different state okay let me fly her out so I can get to know her and get to like you know hang out with her and stuff so is that like what you require from a dude that you're talking to like vacations and stuff and gifts basically yes so yeah the vacation dude. vacation and gifts obviously it's gonna have to like build up to that a little bit but it is something that like i require because those are things that i already like give to myself like i already take myself on nice vacations i already give myself like nice gifts so i want somebody who's going to be able to match that energy with me that's the exact same thing i already said shorty already does all this for herself she already buys herself nice things already goes eats to nice restaurants already buys products to make her face and hair and all that stuff look good smell good already buys outfits to make her look good to people she already takes her little trip she already does all of this so why would she want a dude that she that can't do that why would she want to do this not on the same page as her and that's another thing why waste your time with somebody that ain't on the same page with you? Even if y'all are doing different things and she got her hand in something different, you got your hand in something different, at least y'all on the same page with something. You know what I'm saying? So really, like, uh, there's no gold digger, nothing here. There's nothing. Only thing he can do is try to flip it and say this. Well, I don't know you. I'm not doing this. So I'm not going to be meeting you. And I'm not finna, you're not going to tell me that I got to take you on this and do this. And that's, that's the only way he can call this shorty a gold digger, bro. That, that's it. No other way. No, I mean, that's fine, but you shouldn't be talking about that the first day you meet someone, you know? Okay, so, then also, what do you want to talk about that? I mean, we should be talking about just getting to know each other. We shouldn't be talking about gifts, money, and shit. And, he, and that's getting to know her. She basically explained, see, see, see how dumb this nigga is? She basically explained to you what she likes, what she does, kind of what she expects because she already does that. That's getting to know this particular person. So I don't know what this nigga talking about. You shouldn't be talking about this, talking about that. You asked her a question, what she likes to do. She basically gave a rundown of everything she likes to do. You asked her as far as dating-wise. And she told you, okay, well, I like the flowers. I like this. I may like clothes. I may, I may like this. So why, at the end of the video, are you going to go back and be like, that's stuff you shouldn't be talking about on the first date? When you clearly ask her how she was. You talking about we should be getting to know each other. Well, you are getting to know her. She's explaining her to you. Like, this nigga dumb, like... <laughs> Vacations. Okay, you're well talking then. about planting seeds in my head.
I don't need you to plant yeah, them. Yeah, sprinkle, head. sprinkle. And just it's not plant happening. some seeds in your head. That's yeah, not happening though. <laughs> Honestly, it seemed to me like you just like you you like a low key gold digger though, for real. I don't like the term gold digger. No, no, but I do though because you tried to make it seem like you really wanted to get to know me, but you all you really talking about is shopping, gifts, money, and vacations. Yeah, but you yeah, asked but you asked me those questions. No, I How would you, you like to get to know me? What do you mean? Like, let's go on a date and stuff. Let's do that. You talking about vacations and shit, getting to know each other? That's not how we get get to know each other. Well, I'm just now you're trying to confuse the audience, bro. She didn't say you got to take her on a vacation in order for you to get to know her. She didn't say that. She said she likes to go on vacation. She said maybe, maybe when we get to know each other and get comfortable basing with each other down the road, we can go on vacation. See, this nigga be trying to, he be trying to confuse y'all. He be trying to, be trying to take one, he be, he be trying to build situations. He try to take what he like, he try to take what she said out of this situation and build it with this. Like, no, bro, she, she didn't say it like that. No, she didn't know. I was telling you I like to travel. That's fine. Well, I don't think we're going to be talking. That's okay. So you can just get out. Okay. It was nice meeting you, though. Yeah, you too. Yeah. How the f*** do I get out? It's right there. <laughs> I'm not going to lie, y'all. She definitely was a gold digger. I'm not going to lie. Like, she was like a low-key gold digger, though. Like... Nigga, no, she wasn't no low key gold digger. Bro. I don't know what he's talking about. Anyway, leave a comment in the comment section. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Don't follow this message that that nigga didn't try to tell y'all. She was not on gold digger at all. With that being said, man, we out to the next one.